Welcome back everyone and before we get into today's video make sure that you like comment subscribe and turn on that notification bell so you know when our videos go live here and let's get into today's topic. For today's video I thought I would give you guys a little bit of a better explanation with visual examples of the difference between a wellness body and a bikini body. I do think there's still some confusion especially on the amateur level when you're trying to decide which direction you should take your physique. So I thought by taking some videos from this past week's Ben Weeder where we have amateurs in both divisions and pros in both divisions and putting those side by side it would make it a little bit more clear for you. So well, let's get into it. Okay, so let's start out with our NPC version of wellness. So this is your open class A. It was a pretty large class actually. This is your first call out right here, your top six. And they're putting them through their quarter turns to start. And as you can see, all of these ladies fit this criteria pretty well. They've got the larger lower halves. Their conditioning is on par with bikini, but they're just you know bigger on the lower half, which is what wellness is supposed to be. So you can see them going through their quarter turns right now. And then in just a minute, we're gonna get into the pros. I'm gonna show you the difference. And face run. 110 and 162 switch right next to each other. And then 108 come in between 90. All right, so here we have our pros coming back out on stage. This is for the final confirmation round of finals for the pro women's wellness division. And this is where Sonny did win this. Now you can see there's quite a bit more muscle on each one of these ladies in comparison to the NPC ladies, but the shape and frame is pretty much the same. It's just they have more muscle because that's what happens when you get into the pros. You just become more developed. And as you can see, as Sunny gets moved in, she is more conditioned than the other two. And that is one of the reasons why she did take the win here. Now, if you see the two bodies on top of each other here, we've got the pros on the bottom, and if you see on the top, you can very clearly see the difference between the two types of bodies. The type of body itself, the structure itself, the muscle itself is very similar. The difference is that the pros are bigger, the pros have more muscle, and they're more conditioned. But if you put them next to each other, you can pretty clearly see that they both fit this criteria and they fit this division and the requirements of the division, which is that bigger lower half. Thank you, ladies. You can head to the diagonal on your left. Congratulations, ladies, and thank you. Okay, so now let's get into our bikini. This is your bikini open class F. This was a very competitive open class. The top four girls in this class were very, very competitive. Now, you can take a look at these frames and see that they have less muscle than what we saw from the wellness division, but their conditioning is pretty close to being the same. Now, the thing you're gonna notice that's different here is they're much better balanced. You see from top to bottom, from their shoulders into their waistline, down through their legs, they have more of an X frame than you saw in the wellness division where it is bottom heavy in wellness. So just take a look here really quickly and see if you can tell the difference between the two types of bodies. Face front. 38, 133 switch, please. Turn to the back, please. Now, as they turn to the back, you can see that they all have pretty full round glutes with some hamstring tie-ins there that are not too X frame that we're looking for, where the shoulder caps are still there and the visible on the top. We still want to see a nice X frame with that lower back in the back pose being the middle part of your X. Okay, so let's add our pros in here. And when you've got the amateurs on the bottom and the pros on top, the main difference that you're going to see here is just in the shape. The conditioning is a little bit better on the pros than it is in the amateurs, but not by much. Like I said, this amateur division, this actual class was very competitive. So what you're seeing in the difference between the two really comes down to their actual shape, uh, how they've put their frames together, the fullness in their muscle bellies and in the roundness in their glutes and in their shoulders and that width through their back. It's not a huge difference though, and that's why a lot of girls can go straight from the amateur level and actually be competitive in the pro level in bikini. 
it just takes reshaping that frame a little bit more and playing on that X frame just a little bit more in order to be competitive in the pros versus in the amateurs, which you can clearly see that these girls all can hang. They can all hang. <laughs> Okay, let's finish this out with these top four that we have here in the bikini division in the pro league so you can get a good look at them. And then we're going to finish it out at the end here with the pro wellness. You can see a clear difference in the actual physiques that are being presented on stage. about the camera work here guys I was getting really into it not paying attention to what I was recording <laughs> my bad <laughs> I remember this is the final confirmation round as they went into final scoring and giving away that Olympia qualification. All right, and here we go. One last look at these pro women's wellness competitors. And you tell me, tell me in the comments below, can you tell a difference in these physiques, what we're looking at? I want you to understand what the criteria is for these divisions. You can see here very clearly that Sunny does have quite a bit more muscle in comparison even to the other two here on the stage. And Sunny has placed sixth in the Olympia, so she's pretty up there as far as the criteria is concerned for this particular division. But can you see the difference in her physique versus what was being rewarded in the pro bikini physiques? Comment right. below. What do you see? Is there something that I missed that I didn't mention? Quite clearly, a lot more muscle on the lower half. It's not body fat, it's muscle. And face probably one of the biggest misconceptions about wellness is that a lot of people think that it's a lower body dominant division in fat which is not the case it is more conditioned with muscle on the lower half these girls definitely push some heavy weights in season and off season so you tell me below tell me your thoughts can you tell the difference between the two divisions and also the difference between NPC versus IFBB? What do you see? What is popping out at you on this screen? Hopefully this video has helped you to understand the criteria just a little bit better so that when it comes to choosing which division you want to compete in, you know which direction to go. And Sunny is going to the Olympia as well. 2022. And that's going to do it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Go ahead and give me a comment down below. Also, like, comment, subscribe, and turn on notifications for more amazing content. And let me know what you want to see. What questions do you have? What can I explain to you further so that you can understand the sport a little bit better? Thanks again so much for joining us and for your support. And we'll see you back here next time.